in one of your events, you talked about, and you talked about it again today, I love the term circular virilocity. Yeah. Did I, did I pronounce that yeah, correctly? Yeah, yeah, we Could, coined it. Would you mind just capsulizing that for, uh, for our viewers today? Yeah, it basically means create something, a piece of content, and then post it everywhere, and everywhere you post it, give a reason to link back to where else you posted it. So that means, so for example, on YouTube, I'll post the video, but underneath the video, I'll put a description link, get the MP3 and the full summary of this episode on my blog. So they watch the video, I want the summary or I want the download, so they go to blog. When they go to the blog, there's the video, the summary, the download, and it says, you know, it says, um, get extra quotes of this episode over on LinkedIn. And now I got them over to LinkedIn. Right. Right. And I got the LinkedIn people going to the Huffington Post post. I've got the, the Huffington Post people going to Facebook as examples. And all of those, it's all the same piece of content. But I maybe just add some extra quotes with it or give a reason so that now it's like people are bouncing around the different ones. Or if they discover me on Facebook, I promise you they're going to find me on Facebook too because I'll mention it in the YouTube video. So it's just about leveraging one piece of content, being lots of places with it. I'll do a video. We'll transcribe it. From that transcription, we'll, f we'll grab a bunch of quotes that become my quotes across social media all week, most of them linking right back to my blog post mm -hmm. or that YouTube post. Um, so it's just about leveraging one piece of content for a lot of different things and linking back to it and staying consistent at that. Because after you've done that for a couple weeks, and you, you know, if, you're, if you're creating content for a couple weeks, that's a library. And now you can pull from that library and post it. So there's a lot of times, like this morning, I'm coming down to meet with you and Harvey, right. and I, I have nothing original to add to the world today for a quote. <laughs> so I open up my Dropbox on my phone, grab one of 1,892 quotes that I've written over the last, what, you know, two or four years, put them all in a Dropbox, they're all on my phone. I grab a quote, I just scroll back a couple weeks, there's a quote, I like that one, grab it, post. Done. Didn't create anything original. I just got a library to pull from. And that helps you develop a little bit more momentum because now you have stuff to do. So I tell creators, if you feel the mission to create and teach, create and be consistent. I create every day. Something every day. At least one quote every single day. Wow. But after, two, what, I, I think it's three years of this. Yeah, three years of this, almost 100 episodes. Having done it so often, I've got this huge library. And now that library, we can activate in circular virality by posting even more each week. So everyone says, Brennan, you're everywhere. You must never sleep. I'm like, I did one thing today, dude. <laughs> the difference between you and me is I did one thing today, dude, and I did it for the last 100 weeks, too. And so all of that, I have a library. I just grab, sh 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 keep, you know, recirculating it right. throughout. And that's another part of circular virality is reposting your winners. So I have a whole folder of every time I post these guys, 10,000, 20,000, 40,000 likes. Right. I just keep dipping back into that well, reposting it, and that creates that circular velocity.